What's up guys, welcome back. Today is October 14th, the last time we made a video um, that was October 11th, talking about free agency. So a lot has happened since then. Um, a lot of our predictions, okay, more specifically, a lot of my predictions have just been completely wrong. Uh, um, yeah, let's get let's just get straight into it. Um, We're gonna start with the, the big fish, yeah. Alex Pichangelo. Start with the big fish, the guy that literally, last time, what did I say? What, what was my prediction? He, McCom was uh, thinking Vancouver. No, I wasn't. I said Boston. Or you said, oh, did you? Yeah. I know you said, uh, I you didn't mention Vancouver. I said Vancouver or Boston because they have been quiet and they both didn't, um, the yeah. re-signed defenseman. Vancouver, Vancouver got literally my, one of my favorite defensemen of all, like one of my favorite. I put him in my top five favorite defenseman, Nate Schmidt. I love this guy. I hated I'm, him. When he was on Washington, because I was he gonna say you start you, you mentioned him since Washington. Yeah, the because he yeah. I hated him when he played against the Leafs because he was playing against the Leafs, and then he went to Vegas and was a stud, absolutely amazing. You know, Vancouver lost two defensemen that were very important, Tanev and Stetcher, which I think was stupid for them to let Stetcher go. That was a stupid thing, but yeah, getting Nate Schmidt. That's that made them a stronger team right there. It does help, and he is a. Uh... I think he's still relatively young. So he's extremely young. That's the thing. I honestly think this guy's a ve uh, Vesna. He reminds me a lot of like young Eric Carlson. Well, actually, Carlson. how old do you think he is? I should ask you. I think he's like twenty eight. Twenty nine. Yeah, well, twenty nine. It's, it's still good. Yeah. For a defenseman, though. I honestly thought he was a little younger than that. Like, how old is Carlson? Eric Carlson. I don't know, like maybe thirty two. No way, he's older than that. Thirty. No way, he's not thirty. Insane. <laughs> is he actually? Yeah. No way. I thought, if, okay, if Carlson's 30, this guy is, like, feels like he's, like, 25, 26. Wow. Okay, you know what? Reverse that. Listen. <laughs> he's still very good. Now we seem stupid. Great. Thanks, Elias. Um, oh, well, okay, now I seem stupid. You're right. Okay. Although I was wrong about that, honestly, I know so much about this guy. I've literally been watching him since uh, Washington. There's so many guys in this league that seem like they're older, and so many guys that seem that like they're younger. It's crazy. Like, yeah, like, I agree. I don't understand this at all. Um, anyway, forgetting anything, like forgetting that. Um, Nate Schmidt, whatever you want to put it, still a young defenseman, 29 years old. Prime, yeah. Uh, re relatively no injuries. Relatively, yeah. obviously with hockey comes injuries, but relatively no injuries, which is good. Um, Big big fish there in my opinion for Vancouver, but not the biggest fish, not the biggest defenseman fish. That belongs to Alex Petrangelo, who proved me wrong and went to Las Vegas like Ilias predicted. Congrats on that! Uh, congrats on that call. Um, what are your thoughts on that? All right, so eight point eight mil, seven years. Okay, uh, that's a big one. Yeah, start off right with the contract. So right. next, we got, we got, that has to be talked about, like right okay. off the bat. Seven so, years takes him to how old? I think, you know, there was a lot of good free agent defensemen this year, but he was like the top one, so we know he was going to get a, a very big pay compared to Obviously. the other one, which the, he did. The top fish always gets overpaid. John Tavares Especially being an example. Seven, seven years, like he's going to be 37 getting 8.8 .8 mil. Like, it is a big term, but that's what he wants. What does that take him to? Seven years. How old would he be? Thirty eight. Yeah, so he's thirty now, so thirty seven. Thirty seven, thirty eight. Thirty. So I think the, I think the first four years, this deal will be relatively good, but then after that, it's just gonna if he does starts to decline. I know. mean, I don't know how they signed it. I don't know the contract terms exactly, so I don't know if he's getting paid most of the money up front, but how that's looking. But if you have an eight point eight million dollar cap hit for a guy who has thirty seven, that's not gonna end well for you. I, I don't think. But I don't think Vegas is, Vegas is so weird to me. They really are because when they first started, like the Vegas draft, right? Let's go back to then. They did not take some of the bigger names that they could have taken in that draft, and they took picks instead to not take those big names. PK Subban being one of them. But they took relatively young players, thinking that they're going to be like, okay, we're going to rebuild because we're a new team. Then they make the Stanley Cup final, and they've been a cup contender ever since. And to me, it's just insane. I don't know what, what what do you think of this like how, how do I rank this team like I was gonna say okay in seven years time I don't know where they might be 
they they literally could be in a rebuild or they could be still cup favorites. This is one of those teams that I just have no clue what's gonna happen. Yeah, I agree. And like they were so good before Petrangelo, like adding him. Yeah. Like that that could even you know change it even more. Yeah. Also, eight point eight mil. That's and first of all, that means they have to trade Nate Schmidt among others, right? So there's a couple people they have to move to get Petrangelo technically. So Petrangelo is going to have to play like what he's worth and that's a huge risk you're taking that's a huge exactly. risk we were talking about Josh Anderson last time I mean this to me is just as big a risk seven years is a long time to sign anyone but when you're signing someone that's north of 30 years old are you joking for seven years that is a huge risk you're taking on and you're not signing him at like 5 mil which is which would be bad enough you're signing him at 8.8 .8. I understand why you did it I understand that's the only way you were going to get him but at that point, I think, would you kind of reconsider this? Like, what is Alex Petrangelo the missing piece for Vegas? Honestly, I don't know where the missing piece is in Vegas. Like, they're balanced everywhere. Right, but, like, does Alex Petrangelo finally get him over that hump and finally win them the cup? Probably not. Probably not. Especially, especially because now, Probably. to get Alex Petrangelo, you have to lose some players. Exactly. Players that were... Players, middle. Yeah. Like, those players meant a lot for those runs, right? So now they're gone. And mm -hmm. I don't no clue how they, – they, they said that they want to keep Flurry. Um, yeah, which they're going to do that, that tandem, you know. Which, which I hate because it Ruiner, makes no Ruiner. sense. It makes no absolutely no sense. Your, your goalies are you – you're you paying two starting goalies, two starting goalie salaries. Exactly. What is it, five mil for Leonard? And I think nine. six mil for Flurry. Yeah, that's like 11 mil – Combined with the goalies. Like, what are you doing there, my man? Uh, and the thing is, you know you're going to play Leonard because they, we just had the opportunity to play Flurry. No, no matter how Leonard plays, you know he's going to get the starting job in the playoffs. Because yeah. I mean, I think Leonard is might be injured, so they're going to figure something out. There. Okay, sure. Say Leonard is injured. It report, yeah. Reportedly, it's just like a cleanup surgery. I don't know what that means. I don't know what a cleanup surgery is, but say yeah. it's a big deal or say it's no big deal. Whatever. When it comes to playoff time next year, and we don't know when that is, but when it comes to playoff time... We know Leonard's going to start because we saw it this year. Exactly. And to have Fleury a as the backup, a $6 million backup, essentially... And it doesn't matter how good Fleury... And people are just going to say, oh, well, what if Fleury has a Vesna candidate season? Look at Fleury this season. Look at Fleury every season for Vegas. He literally took this team on the back and carried them to... This carried the whole franchise. He's the face of the franchise. And they literally still went with Leonard. So... You know when it comes to playoff time, it's going to be Leonard. And then you have, even if it's not Leonard, you still have Leonard on the bench either way, and you have an expensive backup. Is that yeah, worth it? I still don't even understand, like, what they did with, um, like, what they did with Leonard, just acquiring him from Chicago. Yeah. Like, that just shows that, like, Florida's not going to be the starter there. I don't, I don't understand why they did that. I don't I, even know why Chicago had traded him, to well, be honest. Like, yeah. Because now like Chicago, Chicago has no goalie because Corey Crawford left exactly. as well. Exactly. So, like, I thought they signed Leonard last summer. He'll be the starter for a couple of years. I don't know. Like, Chicago. They well, they were in a. Chicago is a. Hold on. Playoff, well, so. Chicago is a completely different topic, and they have a lot of different things that are going on right now that are very juicy that we're going to talk about later. Um, but let's just stick with the Petrangelo because I think we're drifting all, uh, pretty far from that. Alex Petrangelo, this deal, this term is interesting to say the least um you know he's a great player on the ice mm -hmm. he's exactly what you want as a defenseman right yeah he's he could fit in that vegas spot very well with uh, uh shay shay theodore is going to be his uh partner so that's i think that's got to be top three best pairing right but then then you think of this do you think he's going to be better with vegas or better er, with st louis well it's tough time will tell because He's definitely he's not old. He's still thirty years old. Right, but let's say he's, next season, he's right? Gotta now. adjust, you know. The twenty twenty one season, if it happens, the twenty twenty one season, which uh, versus the twenty nineteen twenty season of Alex Petrangelo, which Alex Petrangelo is better to you in your opinion? Which one do you think will be better? Mm, I still think the St. Louis one, honestly. Right. So, with that being said, obviously he might not, but. With that being said, right? Say you're with. Yeah. How much was he getting paid in St. Louis versus how much he's getting paid now with the term he's getting paid now? It's a bit ridiculous. 
Yes. And he, I know he's the big fish, what do you call it, free agent. And, you know, when John yeah. Tavares was the big fish free agent, um, Leafs didn't even have the highest offer. That's the thing, right? Exactly. So we're gonna see. We're gonna have to see how these like new defensemen adjust, you know, because we've seen positives in some, we've seen a little declines in some. But right now, I'm sitting here as a Leaf fan, or if I'm sitting here as even a even a St. Louis fan, I know you guys loved him, but you're looking at these deals, and you're. I'm thinking, I'm glad the Leafs didn't sign him. If this is what it took to sign him, like, like, if you're gonna get Krug, who's what a year younger than Petrangelo for like. 2.3 mil less. I definitely take it. You can quarterback your power. Play I'll, I'll, honestly, I'll take a $5 million um, TJ Brody at four years because that's a great term, great deal. Like, mm-hmm. I'll take those deals in front of... I think that's something that teams need to really start doing now because obviously the cap is affected. Everyone yeah. has to do, be doing like team-friendly. Like Teams can't be... The GMs can't afford to be paying, overpaying people anymore. And, yeah, and I think the term is very important. And I think like, exactly the term would be very important for that. And the fact that you're paying, you're giving him seven years is, it's debatable for me. 